Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a couple of features on our island kitchen bench that I think kind of make it sort of stand out a bit more. So the first thing that I got was this ABI sink. It is actually the Henley double fluted farmhouse sink in the 840 millimeter size. This sink is amazing and it is huge. I guess what I would say that really sort of drew me to this particular sink is just, I love how it kind of sits out from the bench. I also just love this the fluted sort of face on it. Um, I think it just adds another element that makes it really stand out. So what I will say about these sinks just for your plumber or whoever is installing it is that they are made from ceramic. So when they're put in a kiln, they actually change shape. So they're never going to be perfect in terms of the measurements and the dimensions that they sort of state on the website. You really do need to wait until you actually have the sink in your hands before you can kind of plan out how you're going to cut it into your bench space. But definitely wait to get your sink before you start cutting out your marble or your wood or <laughs> whatever you're using as your, your bench top. We also had to purchase the plug and waste separately. Um, so these ones are the brush brass, obviously. Um, if you look at any of our other videos, you'll kind of see that we have a gold thing going throughout the house. So we have to make sure that those were sort of the brush brass as well. The other feature in this, I guess, this set that we have here is the tap. So the one that we went for was the Elysian Pull-Out Kitchen Mixer Tap. This one, you had an option of just the, the mixer tap on its own without the pull-out, but I am so glad that we ended up going with the pull-out just because, like I've, I've said before, this sink is so big that having this pull-out to sort of wash your dishes or even to be honest with you, even when the kids are messy after eating their food and kind of just pulling this one out and helping them wash their hands and things like that, it makes life so much easier. Again, just for the size of our bench top, the size of the sink, just how big it is. I think if we had just gone with the standard mixer tap, it wouldn't have looked in proportion to the rest of, of everything else that we have going on here. So I think it is, really perfect for this particular space. Okay guys, so now Jake's gonna come in and he's gonna talk a little bit about the installation of these ones. Um, and then I'll come back and talk a little bit about the price of everything. Hey guys, so the biggest issue with this ceramic sink is how much it weighs. Um, now the website, ABI, actually says it is about 54 kilos. I don't think it's that much, but it's definitely close to it. So when I went to do the install on it, I was really, really conscious about making sure that I had sufficient support underneath this. So what I did was I used uh, 90 by 35 timber um, and I made up a bit of a frame and then I screwed that to the inside of the carcass. So I'm gonna show you a couple of photos here and if you want any more details on that, just leave a comment and we'll do our best to help you out with that. Um, we did have to get a little bit creative with the plumbing side of things just because the sink is so deep, um, there wasn't much room to do much underneath it. So I had to do a little bit of customizing, to, but it worked out really well in the end. So I'm happy with how it turned out. So if you need any more details um, and pictures on how I actually did the install on this and with the tapware as well, I uh, also hid a filter in the back there, which was a tight fit as well, but I did something cool back there, which I would love to show you guys. So leave a comment and I can show you all of that as well. Thanks. Thanks for that, Jake. So, as we said before, what we were going to discuss now is just the price, how much everything cost. So, for this one, I mean, obviously, like I said, I'm going to link everything below so you'll be able to see it for yourself. But if you're just watching this video just for fun, um, this sink actually costs $734.90. That being said, that was just for the sink. So like I said, the plug and waste, they were a separate cost. They were $49.90 each as well. And then the mixer tap was $579.40 too. So that's how much that all cost. 
On top of that though, there is shipping. I'm really happy with the overall result and I guess for us, Jake does do all the installation, he is a plumber, so we do save costs in that way and that way we can kind of justify getting things like this because it's kind of a little bit of a hobby for him to kind of install these things for us anyway. So yeah, we're really happy with all of this and if you want to see any more videos from us or styling and things that we've done or reviews of things that we have, just let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks guys.